This is how to clean corrosion from a battery. As you can see, I've already taken the battery out. Definitely recommend wearing gloves because sulfuric acid is nasty. Place the battery hold down and any hardware parts in a bucket. To neutralize the sulfuric acid and corrosion, I make a solution of one tablespoon baking soda to one cup water. If the corrosion is really bad, I'll use two tablespoons baking soda to one cup water. Although cold water will work, it's best to use hot water. Add your baking soda and water to the bucket. Give it a good mix around. Give these parts plenty of time to soak in the solution. You can see all the bubbles coming out. That's the chemical reaction that's taking place with the baking soda neutralizing the sulfuric acid. Once the battery hold down and hardware parts are no longer bubbling in your solution, use a wire brush to clean them off. Then use hot water to rinse them. You can see how much better these look now. I use the same ratio of baking soda and water to clean the battery tray and any areas that have battery corrosion. Use that same mix to clean the cable ends. Again, give these time to fully soak in the solution. Use a wire brush to clean the inside of the terminals. If you do a lot of these, it's easier to just use a drill. I also use a wire brush to clean the outside of the cable ends. Once you're done with your solution and scrubbing, use hot water to rinse away everything. You can see the copper on the inside of these cable ends is gonna make a nice, good connection. The new battery I'm putting in is considered maintenance free and does not have accessible battery caps. This will minimize corrosion from forming on the top of the battery. I always like to add a sticker for the installed date of the new battery. I put anti-seize on the mounting hardware just to make this easier the next time it has to come out. I've never been a fan of these felt pads and honestly I've taken them off on a lot of batteries and that's because they can prevent the cable end from sitting correctly on the battery post. But I'm going to use them in this case just to see how they do. That's really important when you put that cable end on that it sits below the top of the battery post. You don't need to over tighten these terminal ends. Most manufacturers call for 10 inch pounds. That's nothing. You can see here that I'm using a quarter inch ratchet to just get them snug. Always wiggle the cables just to make sure that you've got them tight enough. There are battery sprays and dielectric grease you can put on to help with corrosion. You can also use Vaseline. I don't personally use any of these as it makes a mess on the battery and it can make it more difficult to get good readings on your battery for electrical testing. New battery in, corrosion cleaned, we're done.